Hello people, I'm the Reconquer Gamer and today it is Green Arrow versus Nightwing. I start off with Green Arrow's origin, try not to make this origin too lengthy. So yeah, let's just get into it. Oliver Queen. He was a huge uh, Robin Hood fan. And uh, I'm going off the year one graphic novel by the way for his origin. But yeah, he was a huge um, uh, he was a huge Robin Hood fan. Loved the whole rob, uh, uh, steal from the rich, give to the poor thing, and uh, just loved Robin Hood in general. So one time uh, he was at a fundraiser, and they were uh, the reason he was there was because they were giving away, you know, for spending it, whoever bids as much gets it. Uh, uh, the bow and arrow that was used in the Robin Hood movie, so he bought it, and that and uh, he talks about how. Robin Hood changed his childhood and he loved Robin Hood so much and so then uh, he gets drunk says some not too nice words and then he says he needs to get out of there well Hackett who is this guy that is pretty much a younger version of Alfred uh, as it was going on a boat to like do some like tax fraud business or whatever for Oliver and so Oliver goes with him turns out he was just gonna take the money that Oliver gave him for like this tax fraud stuff and take it for himself and just leave forever. It's 14 million dollars. So they get into a fight on the boat. Uh, Hackett could have killed him, but he doesn't have the guts to, so he throws him overboard. Later, you see uh, all of Ollie is uh, he washes up on shore of this island. You know, if you've seen the uh, Arrow TV show, then you know the island. Uh, but he he wakes up on the island. He sees this burnt village, and so he finds some debris and like uh, and everything. And he makes an arrow out of, I mean, not an arrow, bow and arrows out of all, like, the scraps and everything he finds. Uh, and that's how he hunts and everything, and he teaches himself. And he also had some lessons when he was a kid from, like, the greatest, one of the greatest um, bow and arrow guys. I don't know what you call it, archers in the world, one of the greatest. He said he could be one of the greatest archers, but he said he threw away that potential and stuff. And so he makes that bow and arrow. And then later this plane comes by. He fires um, in a single no flare arrow at it, but that it turns out it's not so friendly of a plane. The plane comes back, shoots at him. He fires an arrow at it, and uh, it just <laughs> the guy sh ends up shooting his own plane when he because uh, Oliver hit the guy, and which makes him turn and shoot his own plane. Takes the plane down. Uh, then these like villagers and stuff. They, uh, they heard that there was one green arrow and that was all that was found in the wreckage so the villagers call him Green Arrow and that is why he's called Green Arrow uh, that's all I'm gonna because I don't want to spend like 15 minutes on origin so yeah that's Green Arrow's origin because this is how I like to start out these videos getting you a little bit more acquainted with the characters now I'm going on to Nightwing's origin uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna this is going to be a little bit quicker than Green Arrow's, because uh, you already pretty much know Robin's most likely. You know, his, uh, he was part of an act, the Flying Graysons, and one day while in Gotham, they, uh, the Tony Zuko, either, like, there's different ways this happened. One time they all got shot by uh, some guys that Tony Zuko hired. Another time he, um, he sabotaged, like, what they were swinging on the trapeze. So, yeah, it's all just, you know, different stuff, different times. It just... So yeah, that's not really because but each time it's just Tony Zuko killed them or hired people to kill them for different reasons. But I'm gonna be more about like uh, Nightwing, how Dick Grayson became Nightwing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> he uh, when he first becomes Nightwing, he says, uh, I'm gonna like actually quote this book I've got right in front of me. He says, "What's strange is both name and costume are based on other people, both mentors and friends. The Batman taught me, guided me, trained me what I am." I owe him. To, I owe to him. What more can I say? It's Superman because, uh, before I keep on quoting him, uh, Nightwing is a Kryptonian bird. So yeah, and he, that's why he's saying Superman was partially the reason he said. And Superman, I grew up in your shadow too. You taught me honor, selflessness, and the true meaning of the word hero. A long time ago, you used the you used the name. I've been thinking of it. Uh, it was a name from your Kryptonian heritage. So yeah, because uh, Nightwing is a Kryptonian bird and. Uh, was also like uh, I think it was a, like a superhero or something on this planet. I don't remember. And so uh, Superman pretended to be well dressed up as Nightwing, a different Nightwing, much different Nightwing in the comics. But yeah, so that is the gist of Nightwing. I know that's much shorter than Green Arrows, but yeah, I'm, I don't want this whole video to just be Origins. <laughs>
Now let's get into like the feats, the difference makers and stuff. So yeah, for Green Arrow, he uh, he put this is like a big thing for Oliver. He just has will to survive and can get out of sticky situations like better than almost anyone in the DC universe. He just can. He like can act purely on instinct. He just read a green, just read some Green Arrow comics. You see, he can get up out of pretty much any situation. Uh, some other things he took down an island of assassins. Uh, cause, uh, yeah, just a thing happened. This guy hired people in uh, uh, the road to Jer Green Arrow, the road to Jericho, and he took down an island of assassins that were hired after him. And he wasn't like with his high tech bow and everything, like uh, trick arrows or anything. This is stuff he made off of an island. Uh, but yeah. He also beat Solomon Grundy with mostly hand-to-hand -hand combat. He shot a few arrows at him, then after that he just, uh, it just was close quarters. He used his bow to, like, hit him and stuff and used arrows to stab him, but he did not shoot any of them. Another thing, Green Arrow, Oliver Queen is really strong. His bow is an is a 130-pound bow draw, so that's every time he's pulling back on that bow. That is 130 pounds. Um, now Nightwing. Nightwing, he, uh... He beat Ra's al Ghul in a sword fight, yes, in a sword fight. It, it took him like a matter of minutes, it seemed, like not very long, and it didn't even seem like he was trying too hard. He beat Ra's al Ghul in a sword fight. Uh, he also was very smart, like Deathstroke, he could not beat Deathstroke, so what he did was, because there was this contract on uh, someone uh, Nightwing really liked, and so a friend of Nightwing's, and uh, he could not beat Deathstroke, and he knew Deathstroke would would carry out the contract so he paid Deathstroke's contract in full gave him all the money to get him to stop and it worked as you can see he was he used his wits and everything to do that which was really cool um he is also one of the fastest if not the fastest non metahuman in the DC universe he, I'm serious he's like the speed wise he has it over I would say pretty much everyone if you just sees like his agility and speed and everything uh, faster than Batman, I'd definitely say. Um, he's also a great leader. Like, far better than Batman. If you see him leading the Teen Titans or, uh, the Bat Family, he is an amazing leader. And, uh, yeah, and another thing, he, uh, he caught the Flash. Yeah, I believe it was Walt West, if I remember correctly. Like, he was just running around, and he just shot his, um, his Bat Grapple at, at him, and just, like, got him with that. I mean, that is... Yeah, that's the Flash, and he did that, and uh, Nightwing is not a metahuman. That's just some of the feats of both these characters, though. I'm not going to... I could go on and on all day listing different things uh, each character has done. Now, their training slash their arsenal. Nightwing, he uh, he was trained by Batman, you know, and that's how he pretty much made his own martial art. I'm trying to think. I don't remember who else he was trained by. I think he might add some training from Deathstroke also. If I remember correctly, I don't remember though. It's been a while. Um, he ha he mainly like made his own martial art after learning from Batman all those years, and so that is his training. His uh his arsenal. He pretty much has most of the stuff Batman has. That so you know you gotta think he has wing dings, which is you know just a different version of batarangs. Uh, he has smoke pellets and all that stuff. Uh, now Green Arrow, he was you know he pretty much learned from surviving on the island so he learned to shoot his bow how to fight and stuff also he got trained from Natas if that's how you pronounce it Natas is the assassin that uh, is one of the greatest assassins in the DCU and that is as Green Arrow said in the comic himself he said I know you taught Deathstroke pr almost everything he knows and so yeah that that should say a lot right there and he paid Natas and Natas ruthlessly like beat the living snot out of him day in and day out training and it was just really rough, and that was, that's, that's how he got the the best part of his training, I would say. After that, Natas told him to carry some steel, so he carried um, uh, part of his arsenal. He carried a sword. Now he carries a katana. He also, the, also by the way, if, if you haven't caught my drift, this is pretty new 52. Not New 52 stuff. So yeah, he uh, carried a sword with him from then on out. And he uh, he has trick arrows, just an abundance of arrows, you know. Um, pretty much what Nightwing has in his ut in his uh, like utility belt slash like on his wrist or whatever. Uh, pretty much that, except in arrow form. So that's what he has. Now for the outcome of this battle. Now this I have to say before I get into that, 
is the closest battle I would say out of any comic book battles I have done yet. This is me, Nightwing vs. Green Arrow. Two of my favorite comic book characters, and to me, like, this is the closest battle out of, like, anyone I've done yet. But yeah, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I like to do, like, three sort of categories for the end. And so, first one, they just met each other. Just, like, they don't know who each other is, they just met, no planning, no nothing. For the, they have, like, you know, what they would normally carry on them. In this instance, well, by the way, I'm doing three different ones, so it's not like, you know, you win one, you win them all. And, uh, that's the definite winner. But, um, just met each other, I'd have to give it to Green Arrow to me, just because he, uh, he, he can, because he's better, like I said before, on, uh, he his will to survive and get out of situations and no like they both use their environment well but if it's just met each other no planning i would have to give it slightly just barely to nightwing now next is planning with planning and everything i'd have to say nightwing i'd have to say nightwing outsmarts him and wins it on uh when it's planning and they uh they go into it because just i say nightwing's just a better strategist and uh knows how to use that against Green Arrow better. They both uh, have time to plan. Uh, next is no weapons, bare bones. Just straight up, you know, your fists and everything. I mean, you mean just your fists. You have no weapons or uh, or gadgets or anything. And, like, you know, you're just straight up fight. I'd have to give this one to Nightwing also. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say Nightwing wins. He has his speed, his agility. I'd say he's able to to beat Green Arrow just barely. So, yeah, I'd have to say Nightwing overall wins it. He wins two out of three. He wins the planning and the just no weapons, bare bones. But if they just met each other, like, just then with everything, I'd have to give it to Green Arrow. So, that is so close. But, yeah, Nightwing overall wins it, in my opinion, barely. Just freaking barely. This is the closest battle I've done yet in my opinion but yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and put down stuff that i should do like other uh comic book battles that i should do uh because yeah this was a suggestion by uh i don't remember who but, yeah this was a suggestion so if you suggest it i will most likely do it if if i don't that mainly means i'm buying comics on that character because i have not read much about that character but these both of these characters I have tons of comics on because I love both of these characters. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. And what is your opinion on this fight? Tell me in the comments below who would win and why.